Welcome to another Business Tech Planet video. Today, we'll show you how to integrate Loop in Microsoft Teams. First, we'll show you how to add Loop components to a Teams chat. Then we'll be adding Loop components to a Teams channel. And finally, we'll show you how to add Loop workspaces. To start, open your Loop component. Then click the copy icon in the top right. Next, hit the copy button to ensure the link has been copied. Now head over to Microsoft Teams and paste your link into the message box of any chat. Then hit the send icon. You can now modify the loop component in real time with other members of your organization. In the on-screen example, our members can write questions for their colleagues to answer. This would be a good idea if you want to create a knowledge base, where other members can look up frequently asked questions. Loop components are not currently supported in Teams channels. However, a workaround is to use Microsoft Whiteboard. To do that, copy the link to your Loop component and create a new Whiteboard. Hit the plus icon on the left. Then select link from the list of options. Now paste your link into the URL bar. And hit the insert button. You can now head up to the URL bar in your browser window and copy the link. Next, open Microsoft Teams and go to any channel. There, hit the plus icon at the top. Then type website into the search bar. Click on website. Now enter a name for the website that describes your loop component. Then paste the whiteboard link into the URL bar. And finally, hit save. Perfect, your team members can now access individual loop components. You can also add the loop app into a Teams channel. Start by opening a channel and clicking the plus icon at the top. Then type website into the search bar. And select website. Now enter a name, such as loop. Then type loop.microsoft.com into the URL bar. Finally, hit save. That's it. Your team members can now create and access workspaces from the Teams channel. That's all for this video. We hope it was helpful. Check the description for additional links and resources. And leave a comment below if you have any concerns or questions. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe for more Microsoft videos.